hello natural black and beautiful followers welcome back on my channel and page my name is Ruth for the newcomers today I want to show you how I pre pull my hair without uh, using oils yes because once a month I pre pull with no oils because I want to give a deep cleansing with my hair when I'm shampooing so I use other ingredients and this is how I prepare it <laughs> These are all the ingredients that I'm going to use today for my pre poo with no oils. The first one is hibiscus tea, which is rich in, vit in vitamin C that stimulates the production of collagen, ensuring healthy hair and growth. It is also rich in amino acids that nourish the hair, strengthen the roots, and keep hair shining and, he and healthy. It also conditions the hair, preventing dryness, freeze, and breakage. It helps to treat scalp problems such as itching and dandruff. Onion juice is the second ingredient. It contains sulfur, which may provide the hair with the nourishment it needs to grow. It may also increase the growing phase of the hair. Onions also have antibacterial properties, which may help fight scalp infection. It also contains powerful antioxidants, such as flavonoids. Antioxidants are believed to protect the body from free radicals. And then I'm also adding this rice water that, ha that has been infusing for the past one week. I have a video on how to prepare this and all of its uh, benefits on here. So I will link it somewhere so you can catch it up and, and watch. But it is a bomb for my hair. If the protein in it is too much because you are protein sensitive, you can add more water when you are about to use it. Tea tree oil is the last ingredient. It has antifungal and antimicrobial properties and because of this it makes it very effective for treating dandruff and seborrheic dermatitis. You know that I have this problem uh, of uh, dermatitis. It also fights the fungus that cause dandruff without drying out the scalp. I love adding it to actually everything. I proceed by putting a pot of water on the fire, drinking water is better, and adding few leaves of the hibiscus. I will let it boil for a few minutes, then uh, I'll off the fire and uh, let it cool down a while before adding it to the other ingredients. While this is on fire, I go ahead and cut my white onion. I'm using white onion, you can use the one, the type that you want, like the red onion is good as well some onions are very very juicy so you don't need to add water while you are blending it but other onions tend to be a little bit dry so you need to add just few drops of water so that it can blend well I advise you to use uh, drinking water and not tap water in to the mix When you finish mixing it, you can let it sit for a while in order for the onion to infuse the water and then you go ahead and sieve it. Take your time to sieve it, take a spoon and uh, let all the liquid be separated from the onion. You can also take a cheesecloth, uh, pour the, the, the mix in it and just squeeze the onion juice from it. You use the method that works well for you. I find it very, very easier to use this method. When the hibiscus tea has cooled down a little bit, you can save it. Oops, sorry. You can save it and add it to the rice, to the onion juice. You don't have to let it get very, very uh, cold because I have uh, low porosity hair. So I need it to be warm in order to open the cuticles of my hair. So just mix it. If it is too much, you just take the quantity that is enough for you and you drink the rest. Then I go ahead and add all the, the mixture, which is hibiscus plus the onion in my crooked uh, spraying bottle. Uh, this spray bottle is about one year and a half. Is this crooked because I pour hot things in it, so it tends to melt. 
then i add my rice water to it as i said if it is too powerful because of the concentration you can go ahead and add more water then few drops of tea tree oil make sure you don't add too much because essential oils are very very powerful so if it is too much it can damage uh, your scalp actually so this is my mix ready for the use ready to nourish my scalp and also my hair ready to start my wash day as you all know I wash my hair once a week and uh, this is the mix it's still warm very important since I have low porosity hair but even if you have um, high porosity hair it's still good that you start with warm water in order to keep warm liquid sorry in order to keep your cuticles close because if you use it cold your cuticles are going to close and uh, sorry you keep your cuticles open not closed during the process so that you can absorb all the nutrients because if it is closed uh, nothing is going to be absorbed so you see i'm spraying it on my scalp and i'm going to spray it also all over my hair and i can feel it that is so warm on my scalp and that is very very good if you're like me that you have some parts of your crown that are more fragile then tend to spray more products over there my fragile area is my crown where my hair tend to get um, uh, damaged very easily and uh, dry as well so make sure you add more products there so I'm spraying it on my hair now I just prepare the quantity that um, is needed for today I'm not going to keep it in the fridge or anywhere Remember your edges. Most of the times we forget our edges when we are spraying this product. So after spraying it very well, before I cover it with a plastic cap, I'm going ahead to massage my scalp just for a few minutes in order to number one make sure that my scalp will absorb the products and number two to give my scalp a very good scalp massage which is good to um, um, to improve hair growth because I'm stimulating all the veins in my scalp to receive more blood from my heart so that will make my follicles to receive more nutrients from the bloodstream so give it a short massage I go ahead and apply a plastic cap in order to steam my hair keep it warm for just 10 to 15 minutes is enough and then i wear a bonnet just to make sure that i'll keep the heat on my head all right so 10 to 15 minutes is okay even 20 minutes there is no problem even more than that because it's a natural product so it's not going to harm you and you can use this also for your child's hair so see you in about 15 minutes <laughs> here i am back i think i spent more than 50 minutes it was at least 20 minutes and it is time to remove it voila so obviously it is still being uh, wet and that is how it should be and when you touch it it is also warm so this is how i pre poo uh, on the wash days that I don't uh, use um, oils and this happens once in a month and uh, after this I'm just going to shampoo deep condition seal in and style as normal I don't just pre pull like this shampoo and that is it no remember every time your hair touches shampoo it is good that you do a deep condition because our hair tends to get very very dry uh, because of the 
beautiful curls that are just going around so it is important to do a deep condition every time in order to um, nourish our hair from the inside so this is all i hope you love it let me know if you are going to try it or if you've tried it or if you have any other recipe that is interesting for me to try thank you very much for watching today's video as well see you next time god loves you all and as usual remember to, to remain natural black and beautiful. Mwah! <laughs>